but Richard of Forey tonight was unbelievable. He kept us in the game, and if it wasn't for him, I don't think we would have come away with the with the points as we have. Thanks, uh, Tepo from ENC. Coach, congrats on the win. A mission accomplished for you in terms of uh, coming to Gauteng or Johannesburg, collecting six points. How important is it for the team moving forward? I know the games are getting less and lesser to get these six points. Massive. <laughs> I think, you know, I would have been very happy with uh, with two because you're playing against Bidvers Witz, which is obviously a title contender. You're playing against the team that's top of the log. You're hoping that you can come here and get something, you know. To come here and obviously dominate the way we did against Witz and collect the three points with a fantastic performance, you know, I was extremely happy with that. And then today, slightly lucky, but we'll We'll take the luck, you know, because many times it's been on the opposite end for us. So today we'll take the luck and take the three points. And, you know, very, very proud of the, the players to come to to Joburg and, and collect six points. is a fantastic achievement, you know, but, you know, the hunger and the desire needs to, to continue. We can't now forget about the games that are still coming up. We want to finish as as high as we possibly can in the league. Uh, we've reached our first target, which we did against Wits, which was to reach that 30-point mark. Now I try to explain to the players ahead of this game, it's about going out there, expressing yourself, play with enjoyment, play with a bit of freedom. But we didn't really do that in that, that first half. We started to show a little bit more in the second. Thank you. Rob, there you go. Okay. Uh, thank you. Coach Velila from SABC, uh, congratulations on, on the win. Um, in fact, I was going to ask you about that uh, because this time last season you were fighting relegation and now on 33 points, um, what becomes the next target now um, after, after having achieved um, this, this first target in terms of um, finishing? And, and also, <coughs> let's talk about Ofori. Um, the importance of retaining him at a time when Everyone has been talking about going overseas or even moving to other teams and having a Ghana's number one. Um, is this, what is it for? Uh, that, that what you saw here today? Yeah, I think, obviously, let's deal with uh, Richard. Richard's a quality, quality goalkeeper and there's always going to be, be interest, you know. But, but he's a good professional, he's a, he's a model professional, he works extremely hard. Um, he has certain areas of his game that I still <laughs> think that he can improve on, you know. But he remains our, our number one goalkeeper and he's our captain and he remains at the club and, you know, if someone wants him, it's going to be a lot of money, that I can tell you, because of the qualities that he, that he has. You know, I think, obviously, our objectives, as I stated before, was to get to the 30-point mark and then we... We as a team, we said, we'll see where we go from there. <clears throat> we want to finish in the top eight, but if we can finish higher than eighth, then that's got to be the objective. So right now, we obviously look at the teams in front of us and what is it going to take for us to catch them. So, and, but we'll do that game by game, you know. So I don't think we'll change any of our approach. I think it just makes it slightly easier because the motivation and the morale and the confidence and everything like that is very, very high. And, uh, yeah, it also will teach me a lesson of continuity. Don't try and experiment. Look at it like that. I didn't even know that's that, to be brutally honest. Me, I, I go into every game with a mentality that I want to win, irrespective of who it is. So my preparation for Chiefs is no different to what my preparation was for Vits. The preparation... Uh, the objective is is no different. The fact that I might have that record against them, you know, uh, fantastic, great, you know. But but it's my winning mentality. It's me just wanting to win games. So you know, if it happens to be Chiefs, so be it. But hopefully, I can have a record against most teams and all teams like that. Last question, the Yes, coach. Uh, the fact that I mean, you have a role or played a role in terms of the title. You mentioned about the title chasers, Vets, Beat Vets, mm. now beating Chiefs. 
are you maybe able to sort of like predict who, where is it going? Yes, now it's in Chief's hands, but uh, where do you think it will go in terms of... I think it's still in Chief's hands. I think ultimately it's up to them to win or lose it, to be brutally honest. Everybody else is playing catch-up. Uh, I've been there before at Pirates, at Supersport. Games in hand mean absolutely nothing. You know, the fact of the matter is they, they've already a accumulated those points. They have the lead that they have. So it's about them losing the title. That's, that's just the harsh reality. Vits obviously have to go and win all their games. Uh, Mamelody Sundowns, same, same scenario. But are they capable of doing that? Yes, because of the quality that they have. Does it mean that Kaiser Chiefs can start settling down and start celebrating the league title already? No, they can't. Because this league, you've seen, anybody can beat anybody in this league on the day. It all depends how much you want it. You know, and what's got them where they are right now has been hard work. And they've got to continue if they, if they hope to, to achieve that title. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coach, you made an addition um, in this window. You brought in Klolan and the boost he's given you on that left side. Can you tell us more about the impact he's had on the team and, and also him getting game time? Yeah, great impact. Obviously, it helps when it's a player you've worked with before. So I managed to work with him at Chipper. And one, his, his work ethic is extremely good, both in training and in the game, which is obviously what we try and instill in our players is the work ethic first and foremost. So he obviously brings that. Then his creativity, which was something obviously we, we lacked. We felt we lacked a little bit of creativity, and, and he brings us that. So the fact that I knew his qualities obviously helped. The last couple of games, he's obviously cramped towards the end, which is only normal, which shows you that he, he didn't get much game time at, at Orlando Pirates. Um, but he'll only get better and better, I think, you know, the more he, he plays. And I think he's one of the young players for the future to be honest, that he should eventually get into the, the national team because he has that, uh, that ability. And so far, he's, I think he's given us a couple of assists already. Uh, and today, again, the cross, you know. So he's been very, very effective for us, and, and it's been a good signing. <laughs>